Blessings, this is Jewel Diamond Taylor, and I want to hope you today. Listen, I want to give you a word of encouragement because I know that the more we pour into ourselves, the stronger we get. And I love teaching. I love sharing. I love imparting things that have helped me. So let me share something that helped me. And the word for today is alignment. Alignment. <clears throat> Have you ever noticed when you go to the grocery store or to a department store um, that has those big glass doors? Well, you know, if you are not standing right underneath the electric eye, the doors do not open. Hmm. <laughs> that is a great metaphor for me that we have to be lined up or the doors of blessings and opportunities will not be opened. We have to be lined up with God's word. We have to be lined up with the right people. Now think of these three things that shape your destiny, your peace of mind, your success. They are people, places, and things. Are you lined up with the right people? Are you going to the right places? Do you have the right things, the right tools in your life that will align you in such a way that doors of success and opportunities would open up for you. Man, when I got that, it was like I had to make some adjustments. I had to recalibrate. I had to let some things go. I had to adjust my thinking. I had to, oh my God, really do a self-check and ask myself, Jewel, are you lined up with the word of God? Are you lined up with your purpose, your faith, your goals? your core values. I mean, I get invited to go all types of places. I have all types of opportunities, but sometimes I'll say no because that activity or the people or the time that it would take is not lined up with my highest intentions, my goals, my purpose, my core values. Now, this is something you learn through wisdom. I didn't always have that type of inner compass but I have certainly learned that people, places, and things will either add to my success and my peace of mind and my well-being, or they'll take it away. So we have to be very honest with ourselves and ask ourselves, am I in alignment? Am I living with integrity? Am I a people pleaser? Am I scattered all over the place? Or am I keeping the main thing the main thing? Am I true to myself? Am I betraying myself by people pleasing? Am I betraying myself because I feel that if I do ABC, somebody's going to do ABC? You know, when you are lined up with your intention, your purpose, your goals, your core values, doors of opportunities and blessings will open up for you. And the thing is, we don't want to say, ah, I can't believe it. See, I believe it. When the blessings and the opportunities come my way, like, thank you, God. It's a confirmation that I've been lining myself up with the right people, the right places, and the right things. And this doesn't mean that the people that you move away from, it doesn't mean they're bad. It just means that they are not uh, the ones that will take you to the next level. They're not the ones that will help open up doors. And so it takes great discernment and decision making. I want you to think about those two words also, discernment and decision making. Now, if you look at the word decision, it is rooted in the word incision. Now, when I had surgery years ago, I had an incision. And as many of you are watching, you've had surgery or you know someone that's had surgery and maybe their, their chest was cut open for the heart or maybe they had, um, oh, what is it? <laughs> you know, when, the, when you had the baby and you needed to have that cut, I can't even think of it. It's just, just had a brain fall. But you know what I'm talking about. When that woman has to be cut open to have the baby, it's an incision. And so when you and I make a decision, we are cutting away from the people, the places, and the things that are not lined up to where we want to go, what we need to do, or what will help us to have doors of opportunities and blessings open up for us. I just love this metaphor about the electronic eye. God's eye is on the sparrow and God's eye is on you. But if you're not lined up in God's word, 
and God's way, the way of love, the way of compassion, the way of integrity, the way of service, the way of forgiveness, the way of just being available and obedient to the way God is leading you today. You may not understand why God is leading you this way or asking you to do this or asking you to forgive this person or asking you to stop doing this or start doing that. But if you are walking by faith and not by sight and you have such a relationship with the Holy Spirit, you'll begin to trust when you're being directed to do something that will take you away or take you closer to people, places, and things. Those are the three things that shape your destiny, your success, your well-being, your peace of mind. Just stop and think about it. Make a list of the people that get your time. Think about it. Are they adding to your life or are they subtracting? Are they multiplying your blessings or multiplying drama? Do they come to divide? See, I think relationships are like math. <laughs> Division, multiplication, addition, or subtraction. Who are the people? that are getting into your ear gate and your eye gate and into your heart space. Because those people will help you to get closer to the eye to open up doors of opportunities. Or they'll block the door. What about places? Where are you going? Who gets your time? Yeah. Because the places that you're going, if they're not adding to your life, if they're not enriching your life, if they're not getting you closer to your destiny, your purpose, your goals, your vision, you're wasting your time. Make sure you go places that are going to feed you, uplift you, encourage you, enrich your life. Things. What things do you invest in? What things, what resources, what toys, what tools do you have that are helping you line up so the doors will open up? Because if you don't have the right things in your life, the right places and the right people, the doors will remain shut. The doors will remain shut. But when you line yourself up and you're very clear about who you are and, and how you want to live your life, when you're very clear that you deserve better, when you're very clear that you know that God is with you, will never forsake you. When you're very clear that some people come into your life for a reason, for a season, when you're very clear about keeping the main thing, the main thing, you will line yourself up in such a way that doors will begin to open up for you. Isn't that great? I love that. <laughs> I love that. Such a simple metaphor, huh? But powerful. Wouldn't you agree? That electronic eye. If you're not standing underneath that door next time you go to Target or the grocery store, and uh, if you're not there, if you're to the left or to the right, and you're not lined up, the doors will not open. So that's my word for you today. That you would have hope to know that you can do a new thing. No eye has seen, no ear has heard what God could do for those that love him. And you know, when you love the Lord, when you love God's presence in you, when you love God and you trust God and you line yourself up with loving yourself and loving others God's way, serving God's way, when you do that, you can't be God-given. Doors will begin to open that you didn't even knock on. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> Doors will open up that you didn't even knock on. I'm a living testimony that doors have opened up ha, huh, for me that I never even imagined would open up. But I like to believe that I've been living my life by keeping the main thing the main thing. I have been consistent. And I continue to pray for discernment and good decision-making skills. So that's your word for today, alignment. This is your hope message from Jewel Diamond Taylor. I just want to hope you today. Remember to visit my website and please share this video. If it's a blessing to you, why don't you share it? 
with others in your circle of influence. I look forward to seeing you at some of my upcoming events. And remember, my retreat is coming up in October. We're going back to Malibu, Women on the Grow. Amazing, life-changing experience. And I look forward to seeing you there. Stay in the light.